Oops. Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and we are finishing up the Twilight Wanderer box. We got some actually really decent pulls last week, some of which, of course, the Memorias, I always say, like, oh, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Of course, we get a nice foil, full art that was like $5, another one that was worth like 3 and uh, we got some good stuff. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back, watch that video from last week. Link is in the description. And we're going to jump into the rest of this box and see what we can find. So let's do this. First one, we're looking for those foil stamps. I think we only got two of them last time. Did we get two or three? Might have gotten three. There's our rare uh, Phoenix Wings. I think we got the full art of that one. And a Memoria. Very nice. Sacred Beast Memoria. There's only like one that I saw that wasn't worth anything. The Flame one wasn't worth anything. Uh, but I'll take the Memoria. And then we got a common foil. On to the next. We shall open more dragons, more sprites, forfeits, uncommon. There's our rare Lancelot. Uh, decent card. I think it was like 70 cents or something. Not bad. And a super rare Phoenix Flame of the World. Very nice. Behind it, an uncommon Elaine the Fairy. Nice artwork. I like it. Okay. Let's keep cruising. Now, next week, we should have a golden hinge ship yeah that one's not worth anything i know that super rare uh ziz the bird that envelops the sky very interesting i'm not a fan of any of the bird cards in these in these sets like they always just don't look that great uh uncommon the weird looking rabbit uh that's that's interesting to continue though uh next week i should should don't quote me on that don't cross your fingers too high uh but i should have the pre-release kit or Ikora Lair of Behemoths. So if I get it in when it says I should get it in, then I will be opening that for next week's video. Goddess of Passion as our rare. A Memoria, Shadow Memoria, very nice. Behind it, just a common foil. So stay tuned for that. I am really excited to get me some Godzilla cards. Uh, the artwork in that set is phenomenal. Really looking forward to it. Uh, and I have two boxes that are gonna be coming in as well, so. Uh, this is Eraser of the Wind, another freaking hawk, which I don't really care about, and a uh, cool little shadow cat, fall, the fallen black cat, Schrodinger, Schrodinger's cat, uh, I think I'm saying that wrong, uh, a nice rare, glorious castle town, I don't believe this one is worth anything, even in the foil, alright, we're due for a stamped, let's get a stamped, come on, bondage girl, Sure, uncommon, rare, grand cross, darkness, magic, stone, foil. Ooh, nice, barrier of shadows as our foil. Uh, that's not bad, that's not bad. I think that might be at least like a buck or two. That's cool. Get the rest of the box out, crack it open, sliding all around, guardian, bondage girl, more dragons, more sprites. There's our rare, uh, the overlord's baptism. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got uh, Arthur, the king of the round table. He looks sweet. Really like the artwork on him. Uh, definitely would like to get a stamp version of him as well. He is really cool looking. Ooh, uncommon foil. Uh, the son of God, of the God. Pretty cool. Just an uncommon though. Well, I got to keep reminding myself that if I don't get anything I want from this box, I have two more. I have two more Twilight Wanderer boxes, so... If you're excited to open more of those, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, Gilding Shadow, Gliding Shadow, whatever. All right, we got Farah again. That's cool. I'm a fan of her card. Oh, yeah. We got the Dying Shadow Dark Rezard as our rare foil stamped. Really cool. He's a good one to get, actually. He's, he's one of the ones that are up there in price. He might be like, ooh, I'm going to just guess $7 card. I, I don't really try to look too much into them because i like being surprised uh, i will catch prices or ranges of prices on tgc player but uh, uh i know he was up at the top of the list for like highest price he was close to the top so he i think like seven dollars that's that's my guess we'll see good pull good pull i like it oh, 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 oh. We're spoiling stuff we're spoiling the end card it always pops up at the end all right here we go there's our rare recollection of dystopia Oh, a little match girl, just the regular version. We got the foil stamped of her. 
and then an uncommon Dark Melgus the Shadow Flame. It bums me out when some of these really cool cards, like Little Match Girl is a really sweet card, uh, and it's not worth anything. It's not worth anything. I mean, we got the stamp version, it was barely worth anything. So, <laughs> but it is what it is. These are older sets. All right, Beast Queen's Counterattack, Firestone. Oh yeah, Excalibur, the God Sword promo stamps. Very cool, that looks uh, beautiful, awesome. Okay, we're getting the stamps now. That's good, that's good. I wonder if we can hit six. I think we have like five. All right, Barrier Shadow, not bad, not bad. And then we've got Elspeth, the Shadow Princess of Blood. I don't remember seeing this card. Probably not worth anything if that's the case. Ooh, uh, Foil Stamped Eagle. Ugh, gross. Don't like it, <laughs> but I'll take it. They just don't look appealing. There's nothing special about them, you know? They're just eagles. Like, they just copy-pasted eagle art, you know? Like, get creative. Like this. This is more creative. That looks cool, you know? Just basic eagles everywhere. All right, there's our rare. Uh, Knight of the Sun. Pretty lame looking. Magic Stone. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my. Unyielding Flames Memoria Full Art Stamps. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I think the flame one is the one that like wasn't worth anything, so we'll see how much the stamped version is, but it sure looks sweet. Really cool. There's like barely any text, so it looks really sharp. All right. Got a few. We're on a good roll. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. All right. Rare. Barrier of the Flame. Magic stone. Magic matchstick. Who? Oh. 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 There we go. All right. Keep it going. There we go. Castle. Not worth anything. Magic stone. Boom. Foil. Stamps. Oh, Elspeth. Shadow princess of blood. Again. I don't know how much she's worth, but uh, yeah, she's creepy looking. Look at her. She's weird. All right. Cool. We'll see how much she's worth into the next pack with bubbles and dragons and flames and knights and shadows and Yadrazil and a bunch of stuff. Goddess of Jealousy. Uh, I don't think she's worth much. Magic Stone and Young Knight of Gloria Common Foil. Only three more packs? Oh my gosh. Every time I do the second video, it goes so much faster. I think I've said that before. All right. Boom. Oh, there we go. Rezzer, the Dying Shadow. Just the normal version, but I'll take it. That's pretty nice. And, ooh, a very nice foil of the Demon Sword. Pretty cool. I like that. And the Weird Mouse foil. All right, so we got the Weird Bunny and we got the Weird Mouse. What do you think? Two packs left. Can we get one more stamped? One more? We'll see. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. Uncommon. Uh, crappy Eagle Bird, Light Magic Stone Foil, and the creepy looking demon guy, which is just a common, but his artwork is, I'm not a fan. It, it looks like it's colored with like really crappy crayons or so, I don't know, it just, not, fa not a fan, not a fan. Last one, last one, give us something good. Come on, we gotta end on a banger. We haven't ended on a banger in a long time. We start on bangers, uh, but we don't end on bangers. All right, Perseval, Seeker of the Holy Grail. Still want you in a full art. That'd be great if you were behind this card because excellent artwork. Oh, Dark Alice, Maiden of Slaughter. Now that's a good pull. That's the one you wanna see in a stamp, but this is a foil. I will take it, that is awesome. Behind it, we just have uh, Laying the Foundation, which is a common. Uh, but we got Dark Alice. That's a, that's a good one to get. Everybody wants to get the Dark Alice in this set. So pretty happy about that. Very nice. All right, here's our pulls of the day. We've got our couple memorials. We'll see how much those are worth. Uh, we've got Arthur here. I don't know about his value. Of course, we got our nice foils of the swords, the barrier shadows, uh, our Dark Alice. She should be worth a few bucks. And then our foil stamps with Dark Rezar, the God Sword, the Stupid Eagle, and a Memoria. And of course, Elspeth. Uh, pretty sweet. I think we did pretty good. I mean, we made our money back in just the first video, which is great. So totals up on screen for what we did today. We'll see how that goes down. Um, 
If you enjoyed the video, you want to see more Twilight Wanderer, stay tuned. I've got more in the bag for you guys coming up, but we'll switch it up. We're going to do another set after some Ikora. We'll probably have to jump in and out of sets each week when Ikora's coming out because I want to open those as soon as I get them. Uh, but uh, also, yeah, totals up on screen for our box total of this set too. We'll combine the totals together for the two videos. We'll see how we did. Those are up on screen now. Uh, so yeah, make sure to leave a comment below if you're enjoying Twilight Wanderer, you like the pulls we got. Uh, let me know what you want to open next. I have more boxes coming in. Uh, so I'll probably do another poll on Instagram. So follow me at Lockdown51. Uh, I'll probably put a poll up in the next few weeks or something. Uh, so stay tuned for that so you can vote and see what we open next potentially. And yeah, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video.